Hey Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly love intuitive message advice or tarot reading session for you Capricorn. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This reading for today is for the Capricorn friends out there. What is the message ready for you to know and meant for you to know at this time of the week, at this time of the day? This is a weekly romantic or love tarot reading session for you. This is for Capricorn, okay? Before I start, I would like to thank you, Capricorn, for tuning in. Thank you so much for coming back. Thanks for being here today. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button in the bell, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, Capricorn, all of the details about me, myself, my team, and what we offer, I offer outside of the YouTube platform. It is in the description box below, okay? You'll find there the details of my Instagram account. Connect with me there, please. And go to the website if you're interested to further know about the blog, about the manifestation items, about the extended reading, and all other services that I share and offer, okay? So let's start your reading. This is a jumper card and I feel like it is ready. So let's start with you. The, the center of the reading um, Capricorn is the Ace of Wands. What's crossing you is the Two of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Crowning the reading is you've got the Prince of Cups in upright position. The hidden energy for you Capricorn is you've got the three of cups in upright position what's in the past is you've got the um seven of cups in reverse and you've got the ace of pentacles in upright position what's the current energy is you've got the six of wands in upright position and you've got the five of cups in reverse um I'm being advised to pull another cards for the hidden energy you've got the three of cups and you've got the eight of wands Crowning the reading is you got the Princess of Cups and the Three of Wands. Okay, depending on the message that I will pick up for today, Capricorn, I will let you know if there's a need to extend the reading. If in case um, I needed to extend the reading, to access extend the reading, the link is down in the description box below. Okay, so start, let's start the reading for you, Capricorn. So the center of the reading is you've got the Ace of Wands. This is a very passionate connection, okay? This is a very passionate connection. It could be someone new or it's a person you dealt with in the past. I really feel like for some of you guys, if you're dealing with someone in the past, there's so many tears and there's so many passion between the two of you. Tears and passion. There's a lot of passion, but there's also a lot of hurt or disappointment. It made you cry. You made them cry. But one thing is for sure. There's still a very strong passion between the two of you. The fire, the flame, it is very much alive. For some of you, there is a third party. Uh, for some of you, the third party is still existing. But they have so many, so much desire to be with you versus the third party. Okay? If this was a third party situation, you are the choice. Okay? But there's... The, if this is a third party situation, um, two of pentacles in reverse... If this was a third party situation, you are the choice. They don't like the third party. They will get rid of the third party. Uh, there's still a third party, but they're getting rid of it. They're they're trying they're trying to figure out on how to get rid of it. But it's it's in the process of it's in the process of exclusivity or you being you being the choice. You know, the choice the choice is you. The choice is. The passion, they will choose the passion and the feeling and the connection they have for you. That is the choice. <coughs> and um, what's crowning the reading and the energy that's coming from you, your influence. Excuse me, guys. I'm just going to cough. <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> sorry um okay so the influence or the input 
your energy, your input towards the center of the reading or this passionate connection and the choices, you know, it's choices, passion, there's a betrayal, there's a lot of tears, but you can't help yourself but to connect or to be with this person or you can't help but to think of them because the passion you have is stronger than the hurt or the minute this person comes back to you it's it it, it just wash away the tears that you've felt in the past you know um you could be hurt you could be you could have been betrayed or hurt or disappointment but the minute they're back they cover everything they wipe all of your worries you forget everything whenever this person is around it is a very hard to resist personality or person or connection okay the input the crown the, what's crowning the reading is you've got the the princess of cups you know and the three of wands yes you know it, it's hard to resist um surrender you know your input towards this ace of wands is that yes there was a betrayal yes there was some you know inconsistencies um hot and cold situation um there was disappointment there was misunderstanding but at the end of the day when they are around and when they connect with you or they message you or when they pursue you on or if they're quiet you pursue them you know you it's so hard you know it's so hard for you to, you're giving you know the, the princess of cups is you're giving you know they're like a dolphin it, it's like your favorite pet sometimes your favorite pet it is annoying but you always come back to them you even feed them you spoil them you know this is your person you know they they you know this is your dolphin sometimes they splash you with water and you're hurt but you still feed them with love. You still would like this person to be part of your future. Three of Wands. You know? You're still supplying this person an energy. You spoil them. You give them an attention. In spite of the annoyance, the betrayal, the inconsistencies, the hot and cold. Being, you know, this person being distanced. This person being inconsistent. This person, this person being... Um, annoying or bipolar <laughs> for some of you you know being immature being childish you know um you still give a part of you oh you still give a part of you, you would still give your heart to this person you can't deny that it's showing in the card three of wands why why are you surrendering to this connection or to this person is because you love them you like them the passion this fire it makes you feel alive. It makes you feel human. It fuels a part of you that you cannot understand. There's some sort of happiness or a, a fulfillment that when they are around, they they heal you. They heal your broken heart that they cause. Um, and you're easily, you easily forget what they did. You forgive, you forgive, you easily forget it, you know. And three of wands, you do that because you're practical, you want this person to be part of your life and so you forgive and you forget and you spoiled and they do it all over again if this is not this person this could be an incoming connection and you're being you're being advised capricorn that you need to you need you need to have a give and take system in your life because if you're this if you if you spoil people if you accept people and you forgive them without making them realize their mistake you know if you easily accept people around without them learning the lesson or without them valuing you then you're allowing yourself to be used and you're being advised to change your system i know you want to keep this person you want to keep the connection i know you want to have a lover but you know what's the point of being a lover if they keep repeating the same mistake or if they keep giving you the same outcome uh, different scenario different people but the same outcome so ask yourself why are you always at the same outcome same outcome so there's some sort of behavioral behavior behavior or mindset that you need to change towards how you handle a person or, or a connection and it's referring to you being being soft-hearted or being practical that okay you did this i still love you i forgive you i forget you you need to honor your feelings 
you know, cups, emotion. You need to honor. You need to stay. If you need to feel the pain, feel that because it will protect you. And it will give you, it will create a barrier or a shield to protect yourself. And if you protect yourself, you respect your. If you protect yourself, you somehow build a wall of respect. And if you build a respect, you put a limitation. And the other people, the other connection, the people around you will learn their lesson that they can't, they cannot keep doing that to you. Okay? Remember that. Because I'm really feeling like this could be a person in the past. For some of you, 20 to 30% of you guys, there is a new person coming around. But it would end up the same situation. Because you're not changing. There's part of you on how you approach, how you love, how you connect, how you reconnect. There's part of you that needs to change to have a different outcome. You know, in order for you to get a success 100% success rate. Something within you needs to change on how you manage and how you react. Your maturity, your emotional connection, the respect, the boundary, the limit. Remember that. The hidden energy is you've got the three of cups, the eight of wands. Yes, you will date again. The hidden energy is that this person, this connection, um, three of cups is dating and eight of wands, you will put you know, what's coming towards you that you don't know, hidden energies that you will date again. It could be a new person or it could be it could be the same person or it could be a new person. But you definitely will be linked into something romantic again. There's something coming towards you. It is romantic. You will date again. You will go through the getting to know, the dating, the starting all over again. You'll put, you know, you'll put a lot of passion into this, into getting to know this person, into getting to know them again, into dating them again. And it's again and again and again. So aim for a different outcome. It could be the same system, the same strategy that you'll go through. You've done this. You've done this. You've, you've done the exercise. So how will you improve your reaction, your approach in order to make it happen? You know, you will date again. You will connect again. That's the hidden energy. Make up your mind. This eight of wands, this is the energy that's coming towards you. How will you manage it differently so that it works, so that it has longevity, so that what you get what you want, so that your person, your people respect you and love you that the way you, are, you deserve. You know, don't settle for less. Don't settle for something just to make it work. You know, if you need to heal, if you need to take time to heal, if you need to really, um, you know, if, if you need to make this person learn their lesson, if, if you need to make this person, um, make, if because if, there's some sort of energy in here that you're so giving, you're forgiving, you're o always open for compromise. You're not giving yourself enough time for this person to learn their lesson. You know, you, you, you're coming across too kind too practical or too kind okay they're back so let's just connect honor your feelings you know in the past you've got the seven of cups you know seven of cups honor your feelings ace of pentacles you know so for the sake of having a love for the for, for this you know it's it's really practical you know ace of pentacles okay i want you in my life so i'll connect with you i'll deal with my feelings later so you're connecting with them but deep inside, you've got this fire. You've got this emotional turmoil. Because I love you, I will eat my ego. I will set aside my pride in the name of love. But when you're alone, and then this person is not calling you, they're not texting you, that's where you get angry. That's where, we de that's where you deal with your feelings. No, that's not the right thing to do. The right thing to do is don't just connect or start all over again without you having to honor your feelings, without you understanding your feelings. Your feelings first before you connect, okay? Because I'm telling this um, Capricorn because they will come back, okay? You're so easy to get a love situation to rekindle. They will come back. They will come back. They will connect. They will reconnect. You know, they will be around. Don't just allow them in your life. Don't just to be continued your connection 
without you expressing why are you hurt or asking them why they betray you, why they were inconsistent. You know, express your feelings, honor your feelings before connecting, before proceeding into the next level. You've got to dig deeper into your feelings and voice it out if you've got a question. Otherwise, that feelings, you know, it, it's going to disturb you, you know. At night, when you're alone, when you don't, you don't, we don't feel good. We don't, when you, when you don't like them, you will deal with your feelings, and that feelings, it is the same feelings that you need to ask your person. So deal with your feelings, honor your feelings before connecting. Respect your feelings. If you've been hurt, don't just give away the connection. And then, you've got a six of swords, and the five of cups. You're being advised to move on, you know. In the current energy, you're being advised to move on. Honor your feelings. Take time to heal and take time to forgive. Take time. Take a lot of care of your feelings. Take a lot of care about yourself. They will be back. If they're back and you're not whole, then this is nothing. You will miss the opportunity again, okay? So this is a pretty straightforward reading. I like the reading. It is giving you courage. And it's also giving you compassion to yourself. If you're whole inside and you heal, then you are confident. You will not be jealous. You will promote respect. And you will earn love. Remember that. Okay? I'll see you soon, Capricorn. And um, watch out for the next 24 hours reading. It's going to come out. I'll see you soon again, guys. Have a great week. Bye-bye.